talked about standing. They're grabbing my wrist. It's like it's like me having a wrist grab. They're really committed to it. I get just as much control over their wrist, whether they're standing or kneeling. So I can use the same setup that we just used standing on the ground here. In my, in my butt scoot position, I got my awesome butt scoot posture. And Daryl's pretty mad about my butt scoot, so he starts grabbing my wrist. Okay. Same thing from standing. I can use this to redirect his arm because he's really committed to this grip. He thinks this is a good idea. So I want to punish him for it. So I can start pulling it across and get this elbow grip. And the same thing's going to happen that happened from our first butt scoot arm grab. I go here, he starts pulling back. I come up to my, my, my squatting position. I can throw back again. It's, again, it's just a, just a basic grab counter. Just here. I just use this to redirect. Because remember, out here, he's blocking me from taking his back. As soon as I get this wrist inside, this way, as soon as it's going across my body, that's my big goal is getting this, getting this arm to go to this outside hip. So instead of being the same side, going making this angle. So now I have a, a clear path. Get my grip, start pulling. He resists a little bit. Yeah, start coming forward. So real time, be a little better. Here, boom, I'm up, yeah. Very simple technique. It starts really get him to really hesitate to grab a, grab a wrist. And you start to make it seem like the wrong move every time. It's going to make him uh, start backpedaling, second guessing. It gives you a lot more opportunities to attack because now he's hesitating. Mm -hmm.